Does it work here? Yes. We can continue with our program and we will have the first presentation by Anton Christine, who is uh, from Slovakia. Most of, him, most of you may know him because he organized the last uh, European Congress on orthoptera conservation, which was a great venue in Slovakia. And yes, we look forward to your presentation. Thank you, Axel, dear colleagues. Nice afternoon. So let's go to Phanaroptera, to the species living here in Europe and in Central Europe. They both are uh, within the 2,400 species in the world for this snail, nearly 9% of the world Orthoptera species fauna. Uh, genus, it is 44 species, only four we have in Europe, uh, and two we will study. Then uh, description, they are very good flyers, polyphagos, polytopic, and some are good colonizers. Uh, most of study species are late season species. It seems to be that, at least in my study area in Slovakia, the nana is later than falcata. Uh, from Orthoptera species file, we can see the map of falcata, uh, limited uh, in the south and 23 degrees and 60 in the north. And Nana we have quite slow, low, lower or uh, smaller area and range, but there are some introductions in United States and some question, question uh, introduction to Australia, but maybe that is not correct. Uh, to the questions, uh, the main question will be today mentioned several times uh, this so-called expansive species, the, it is really knowledge, increase, species, expansion, or sometimes it can be read also about the recolonization of historic range. Uh, there is question, uh, how big is the percentage of syntopy in overlapped range of these two species? Uh, there are, we hypothesize that Falcata, as known till now, is going higher than Nana. It is similar like with Sparza and Spinoza. Uh, is the Falcata more in forest zone distributed? Nana, riparian forest fringes and urban, habi urban habitats. So, to the goals. The first, I would like to review the distributions then differences in latitudes and altitudes in this Everlet range, then to analyze a little bit habitat and woody species, and then the last, or not la completely last, are the rivers, in this case, also the corridors of for Phanaroptera spring, like in Ruspolia or some similar species, and then also such ornament of what is the Orthoptera species richness in these Phanaroptera sites. When we check the situation uh, with Falcata in Europe, this is from IUCN Red List. The first data coming from uh, end of 19th century from these countries, from Slovakia, 1867. Then we have data from Poland, all data from Czech Republic. Then we have from here Benelux, some, uh, some from United Kingdom, Anglia. Then we have new data and new data and new data in from the northern parts of the range, what is seem to be really expansion. Uh, next one, well, uh, Nana. Also, we have here some updated uh, range from IUCN Red List uh, uh, from, uh, for Africa and Asia. And now we can see the first in Austria, 20. Then we have Hungary, then we have in Slovakia, 1962. Czech in Prague, isolated, probably ro local introduction. Then probably local introduction in the cities or rural and urban areas in Germany, uh, as shown in the Leal's paper of Hockier and Collective. Uh, overlapping range, we can see now the overlapped range in Europe. Alcata and Nana. 
and we can see now the updated limit of distribution in Slovakia. So, to the methods and material. Uh, in these years, 96 to 21, we studied 2,000 uh, 2,327 uh, sites, uh, what we can see not only by colorful circles but also by empty circles in this map. And uh, approximately the year 2010 was given as a threshold for these comparisons. We had the 47.4 data before 2010 and nearly 53 percent after. Then. Uh, each side was sweeped around 1,000 sweeps of bush and herbal vegetation, sometimes also by acoustic identification, by visual collection. We, then we, uh, then we uh, described the seven habitat types in the sites and nine wood species or wood categories. And uh, we studied following in the last five years riparian versus non-riparian sites mainly the river banks along the 12 rivers and 125 sites in each habitat in these five years. So to the distribution of uh, both these species in Slovakia in whole period. You can see that Falkata we found in more than 30 percent of sites, Nana nearly in 10 percent of sites and mixed population we found only in 2.7 percentage of sites. Uh, when we compare the periods 96 to 2010 and then after 2010, so this period, this threshold 2010, then we found uh, 46 percent of data before 2010 and 52 uh, after 2010. So, so it seems to be that there are no big differences in the northern border of distribution of these species. But we found in the last yellow period uh, distributions in higher altitudes of Carpathians and in the periphery. But the trends is not easy to estimate. To Nana. Now the trend seems, seems to be in the data collection maybe also, but also increase in the sites in the yellow period in the last 10 years. You can see the really nice contribution in L around the whole Pannonian area of Slovakia you see and this is also coming northerly, more northerly. The color, this purple, is in both periods and only two sites we have what was only up to 2010 and we did not found this species more. Uh, when we compare the main habitat groups in these sites, what I mentioned this uh, 759 uh, uh, sites of Alcatan, 245 sites in Nana, then we can see that uh, Alcata prefer or was found mainly in the broadleaf, in the within the broadleaf forest, conifero forest, a mixed forest, it means in the forest zone, and the Nana mostly in the riparian uh, fringes, uh, riverbanks within the uh, within the ri uh, rivers, main rivers of Slovak Carpathian range. Then Nana was also significantly more in urban and suburban areas. You can see also the main habitats of Falkata here, also the altitudinal distribution on riparian vegetation. Now it is correlating also with the main woody species. The Falkata is, uh, and Nana and Falkata are very similar in oak within the oak forest in the lowland sites. Uh, uh, Falcata is more distributed in the beach forest zone uh, than just opposite the Nana in the willow and poplar and other woody species or other scrubland and so on prefer more or uh, is located more in other habitats, other woody species than is mentioned here. So now to the small experiment during the last five years uh, along these 12 rivers, what we can see in this picture here, four rivers in the western Slovakia, four rivers in the central Slovakia, and four rivers in eastern Slovakia. 
in the case of Nana, the red dots show that Nana is growing quite very far along the also mixed populations along the rivers, also here in the eastern Slovakia, also in the western Slovakia. Here not so high because here are the much higher mountains and the basins in the central Slovakia, but here we can see the clear break everywhere where are not going far the Nana, only Falcata. Uh, of course, we did also 125 sites in the surrounding habitats, not in the riverbanks, but in surrounding habitats. And you can see the Nana is coming only in this low Pannonian area, this yellow and red triangles, and the Falcata is nearly everywhere. The gray triangles are no Phaneroptera data from the sites. Here is the comparison in the graphic. Falcata is mostly in control habitats, Nana more in riparian habitats. Both species occur in the same habitat very similarly in riparian forests and no Phaneroptera. Phaneroptera. These are these data. Uh, one explanatory variable for distribution of the species can be altitude. Uh, sure, a Falcata is coming higher, as can we see uh, on the gray graphic. Also the mean, as the Nana, what is coming only up to 500, 300, 500, 30 meters above sea level, and Falcata up to this altitude. Nearly 95% is going in Nana under 350 meters when Falcata to 750 meters. Now something for these habitats. So the highest position where we found Falcata is Low Tatra National Park, but uh, we think this is only, this is only uh, local occurrence uh, because it is well flying species that uh, no breeding site we found there, no names. Uh, this is position of the site within the area, or within the range of Alcata in Slovakia. Now we have Nana in Slovak Karst, completely in the south of Slovakia. In the warmest position, Nana is going also higher than usual in Carpathians. Uh, now, small comparison, how is the assemblage around Falcata, Nana, and the mix. Interestingly, we found that in mixed, uh, in sites with the mixed population, we, is the uh, species number the highest. But uh, it is not easy to interpret. We should take this result with caution. For example, the differential species, also for your uh, introduction, Camptoxifa or Polysarcus or Tetigonia cantana and Pseudobodis are characteristic or differential for Falcata localities. Uh, for Nana, we have so Xerothermophilos like a Krause, Pelucens, Ephipiger, Euchortipus Dertlius. And now to the conclusions. So uh, we found only 2.7% of syntopy in overlap range of both species. A spreading rate. The term spreading rate, we have to consider with a caution because maybe this is the spreading of our knowledge. Uh, but when we compare it in Nana and Falcata, we see that Falcata has the similar ratio as is ratio of the sample effort, sampling effort. So the 50-50 nearly. But in Nana, we have 74% of all data after 10, 2010. Yeah, of course, uh, we confirm that Alcata is going higher, also latitudinal, also altitudinal than Nana. It is, seems to be global pattern. Alcata is more in forest zone, beach and conifers, and Nana seems to be more in riparian forest fringes and, of course, in urban habitats with poplar, willow, parks, vegetation. And regard to the rivers as corridors. Uh, Nana occurs more northernly than Falcata along rivers than in surrounding habitats. So thank you for your attention.
Thank you. Um, are there any questions? Very interesting to see that we have a very similar pattern in, in other countries as well. In Germany, we have also a spread of Nana, but we mainly find it in urban areas, actually, while Falcata is more in the, in the countryside. Thank you, Shimon Czyżewski here. Uh, very interesting. I wanted to ask, what do you think, is it the spread of Nana in the uh, river riparian habitats rather due to its spreading in these habitats or rather that these are like su more suitable habitats for Nana than for Falcata? Uh, this is not yet decided because, uh, you know, we have no enough data about river banks, habitats, riparian habitats from the typical Nana area. We have enough data only from five last years and we have comparable data from the riverbanks and the surrounding habitats. But when we will consider the habitats in the typical core range of Nana, I am not sure if the riverbanks will be the main preferred habitat. Maybe the urban paris or some. Yeah, I, I wonder whether they could also be distributed by garden centers or so, because they, they are always yeah. found in gardens in, in Germany. <laughs> okay, any other questions? If this is not the case, thank you very much. Thank you, Elton.